So, we're here at the Resiliency Summit here at Flint Southwestern. Flint Southwestern Academy. That's right. Our third annual. I'm telling you. Third, it's three years. We've done it three years in a row. And uh -huh. at first, we started out with just environmental justice, but we wanted to add resiliency to that. Yes, and yes, so this yes, is year yes. three for our EJ and Resiliency Summit. I'm telling you, so why, why do we do this annual? You know what? We better do it. Uh, we <laughs> right, better do it when you look at, you know, not just the water crisis, but yeah. when you look at what goes on uh, in a lot of communities, urban yes, communities yes, uh, and, and rural communities as far as environment and knowing about what an environmental right. injustice is, because we know what happened here in the city of Flint was a big one. We do. It's a we huge do. one, we do. Uh, an environmental injustice and, yes, and the poisoning of our water mm -hmm. system. And so one of the things we want people to know is to be educated about it to yes, be able to speak intelligently about it and know where they are mm -hmm. because you know it can it, it can happen where you're living right you know it can happen on the soil that yes, was one of the things we talked about as the reason we were moving atherton east because yes. they were on a flood plane right. and they kept getting sewage back right. up and right. that's where we were put yeah you and know I, and they knew that yeah. when, they, when when they built there and mm -hmm. so that's a that's another example of an environmental injustice that happened here in the city of Flint. Mm -hmm. When you look at the contamination that's taking place all around, uh, and we're fighting to get things cleaned up. Mm -hmm. And so if we're not informed about it, we can't inform others. We can't protect ourselves, like and it. we can't that's ring true. the bell. That's and true. that's what we that's have true. to do. I mean, that, that is very true. Uh, and see, like, you know, everybody knows us to be in a water crisis, mm -hmm. but it's the resiliency that's, that the people and the residents of Flint have. And that's why we added well, resiliency to I'm this. I'm trying to say. You know, because like I said, the first year it was just EJ, environmental justice, but we said, right. wait a minute, mm -hmm. we're going to add resiliency to this because it's so important. And you, and you said it right there. I mean, that's what we keep talking about being Flintstone strong and what we stand right. for and how we are as a people. Mm -hmm. And and that's one of the things that I think people that are looking at us have all noticed is that we're a strong city yeah. made up of strong people and we're resilient. Mm -hmm. And we've really taken this crisis because, you know, we've made some opportunities yeah, right. happen for us. You're right. You're we've right. made some opportunities I... happen, not for and not, and not just for us, but for other people all across the country. We've given them an opportunity to show how they can use their voice mm -hmm. and their political will to speak up. Yep. about injustices, mm -hmm. make sure they're looking at infrastructure and water quality standards, mm -hmm. uh, about being a voice for your, you know, when people take your democracy away and your That's voice away. Uh, when, yeah. when, when crises come, we know jobs come and making mm -hmm. sure our people yeah. have first opportunity right. and access to those jobs. So so we're doing all of those things to show how strong we are and how resilient we are. And I think it's important because resiliency also comes from being part of the healing process. And we said we're not going to, yes. you know, we yes. want help. We like help. Yes, we do. Uh, we do. And we accept help from others because yes. everybody yes. needs help. Right, uh, right. You know, because we go help somebody else if they were in our situation. So we like help and we appreciate it. Right. But you have to be part of your own healing as well. By far. There are things we can do to By be part far. of our healing. Yes, um, right. You know about that. Mm -hmm. You know yes, about that because you're always out here working and speaking up and being an advocate yes, and being strong. So, yes, you know, when we all come together and do these things, it's powerful. I'm trying to tell you, and that's that's one of the beauties of it. You know, when, when Flint came together, mm -hmm. um, see, one of the positive things that came out of this is, is just us unifying. Right. And so that's what we right. all have to be like. And we can't expect just things just happen, you know, one day. And we can't do it by ourselves. We you know, when I look at, I mean, there are certain things I can do in the political realm, but there's some that's things right. I can't do. There are some things, you know, that we need uh, the, the community to yeah, speak out about yeah, that, right. that we can't do. There are some things yeah, that, right. you know, you need right. another, you need the philanthropic community That's to right. do. Yeah. You, you know, so it takes all of us. You might need the the, uh, the clergy to do a piece. You need mm -hmm. all of mm -hmm. us to come together, whether it's activists, whether it's elected officials, mm -hmm. just volunteers. But we yes, all have to come together as a united front and show them what we're made of. I'm trying to tell you, and that's, <laughs> and that's, that's playing strong right, right. there. And, I, and you know, I just really want, you know, a lot of the residents, the citizens, not just in Flint, Mm -hmm. But around the world, understand like what Flint means and like the direction that we're taking to overcome. Right. Because right. Because you can is a, is a big you can piece. get through a crisis and, you can. and and come out on top. And people are watching us. Trying and to we see how exactly. I know. And so we've got to show. Them. And I think I think we are. I do too. And so for the people who who don't um, see on the surface or have these questions, mm -hmm. what comes up? Uh, you know what? That we're moving through this. Bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> but we can. We can say, you know what? I mean, 
bad things happen. Bad. Things that you have no control over, but it's about how you handle that and how you play a bad hand. Mm -hmm. Because you can play a bad hand well. That's right. And that's, that's what right. we've I had like, to do. Like that. And that's what we've shown. Yeah. You know, we got dealt a bad hand, but look at what we've done with it. Right. Look at what we've done with it. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, it's been nice because people from all across the country have turned to us to ask us, well, how, what do you do about this? And, and how do you handle that? And, what, uh, you know, talk to us about water. Talk mm -hmm. to us about infrastructure. Talk to us about economic development. Talk to us about, uh, you know, when your power's taken, how That's do you right. still move things forward? Exactly. And, and, and really letting people know that no one takes your voice. Yeah, and yeah. how powerful your voice is and, and the vote especially around local and state politics because you see what can happen I know you know and I'm I, I like to see that people came out to come support mm -hmm. be, not just to be um, just to vote but be educated vote. right exactly that's a big and that's a big difference and and be all wrong yeah yeah and be yeah. all wrong but yeah. no I think I think um, people are looking people are mm -hmm. paying attention to Flint. Yes. Yeah. And um, we've got a lot to say and a lot to show. You know what? So um, Flint is definitely making that comeback. And, mm -hmm. and so we have a lot of things to be proud of. We, we do. have a lot of things to look forward to. Um, we have a number of different special projects that's going on here in the city that will be taking place. Um, we still are looking and appreciate all the support that comes around nationally, internationally. Mm -hmm. Right. That is very big for right. us. And so right. you know, we continue to thank everyone who played a part in you know, helping Flint overcome mm -hmm. and be resilient. That's right. Right. That's right. And then continue to put on these activities so the residents continue to keep being fed. Right. You know, you know, support it. Yeah. Right. And, right. And, and give them resources. Right. Um, those are big things for a community. So mm -hmm. they're um, important. Very they're important. important. So we got we got two days two days left for the summer. And now what's tomorrow? Friday? Tomorrow. We have a talent show tomorrow we because have a talent show got Friday. talent. Flint's we got keep talent. talking about that. Flint's got talent. Yeah. Ira Dorsey will be here. Yeah, and yeah. Mayor. And so I'm yeah. excited. Yeah, and and that's that's actually at where? That will be at McCree. McCree Theater. Seven o'clock. Seven o'clock. That's so, right. Um, and and they were talking about it yesterday. They said it was some nice talent that came through, and and, and we're looking forward to seeing you know actualized tomorrow. So, I know. You know I'm you know I'm. They talk very, very big about it, so you know, I, I'm, I'm really excited I saw, and I'm look, geeked up. I, I didn't come to watch them uh, rehearse for the talent show, but somebody sent me a videotape of some of them, and I said, wow, we do have talent. And, and, and that's one of the other things that's so great about Flint. I mean, so we know we've talent. had all kind of athletic talent that's come out. I, know, I was just I at know, the African American Sports Hall of Fame this weekend. Congratulations to all of them who was honored. I know it. Wasn't yeah. that something? Yeah, it was. That was that really was. nice. Mm -hmm. But we've got artistic mm -hmm. talent. Yes, we We've got artistic talent. We've got so much going on here in the city of Flint that is, I don't think people know. And so that's why we should, we do these things to show it. Right. So, so come, they need to come tomorrow because Flint's got talent. Y'all know. I right. know. Right? <laughs> <laughs> that should be a show right there. That right? would be. <laughs> so, I mean, that, that sounds like that would be something unique. And, and then it showcase another arm of Flint. So, right. You know, and I, I'm, 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 I'm very elated about, about the summit, but then I'm very encouraged you know about the future i am too it's that, exciting that's that's where it's I think exciting the, the hope and mm -hmm. and aspirations of what could be and, and if you drive around you're going to see more things happening because yes, spring yeah. is here so mm -hmm. we're going to be doing the groundbreaking pretty soon um on the housing that will be across from lear is that um with the new plan neighborhood that's what, be? That's and, and that's where yes that's one of the neighborhoods mm -hmm. and then next year we'll be doing it across from diplomat so we're expanding oh, yeah. north and south of downtown. You'll see some other things happening. I love to see that neighborhood. And that's really good. When you're talking about the neighborhood, the downtown is one piece. Right, right? but you gotta, you still have to keep moving. You gotta and keep I think moving. that's why it was so yeah. nice. You know, we had mm -hmm. Yo-Yo Ma at first. Yeah, it was yeah. something. Yeah. You know, I just had a birthday party at Buick City Events. And yeah, it, yeah, I look, <laughs> and, and, but, but pe so many people hadn't been to Burston in years that came for Yo-Yo Ma. So many people hadn't been to Buick City. They're like, we didn't know this was here. Yeah, I know. And so you I have know. to spread out. That's right. And so for people to see things are happening, you want a great downtown. But you want to great this part of the city. You want to yes, great man. that part of the yeah. city. You know, that's how when you go to other cities, they say, oh, you go over to, and they have a little name for it. And that's what we're oh, gonna yeah. have here. Oh yeah. That's what we're gonna have here. You know when you know, say like you just like like when you go to different cities, mm -hmm. right? They got like little Africa, little China, China. They got all these all that pieces. kind of stuff. And that's what we that wanna here. do. Yeah. And so that's why I mean we may just have a few a Buick we City. We talk area. about Buick City area. Right. Uh so 
that's what we're looking at. I'm trying to tell you. That, that's what we're that's, looking at. That's a that's a very, very vital piece right. because that's where communities right. embrace. Exactly. But then, you know, when they start putting a stamp on it, put a name on it, mm -hmm. but then you got these different entities in there. Right. Right. I, I would love to see, you know, and I know that's that's what's going to come. That's what's coming. I can't wait. I mean, it's it. like Maurice Davis does the Coolidge Park. Over there, he yeah, does that all the yeah, time and does. has a big mm -hmm. thing over there. So yeah. that's another area. So mm -hmm. we, you know, we need to embrace our communities and we're moving out in there. Just like we have pop-up shops going on over at Hallwood Plaza. With entrepreneurship. Every, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. That's uh, how it's those things. That's, uh, we're, this will be week four. Week four. And we okay. tried it out at Christmas time and it went really well. So mm -hmm. we're doing this again. We're going to do it for, I think, six or eight weeks. I can't remember. Okay. okay. And if it works out well. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's something we can continue. Let's let's do that. Entrepreneurs in the city, um, and, and you get a lot from the small businesses. Right. Entrepreneurs, like, exactly. You start gearing them up, exactly. and then those kind of create right. small jobs. But then, mm -hmm. of course, it start really kind of assess the economic piece. In that's effect. right. And I think you know those are critical. You need those small business you owners, right. and those entrepreneurs, because that's where most jobs come from. That's right. where most jobs come from. And, and right now, we creating, and I, I, to to that piece, you know, it's all about creating your opportunity. Now. And and you know what? And and it's mm -hmm. nice because you can really see how some things go together. So you have Lear, who has put this big factory. Yep. But that will spur some entrepreneurs. Yes. You know, somebody's gonna say, well, "I'm gonna put a store across from here. I'm That's gonna right. put a place right. to eat across right. from here." You know, I'm going to build some community because nice. they put a playground in. Across and it looks the good. They were playing real good. the other day. Exactly. Yep. <laughs> and so you are. You're gonna spur entrepreneurs. Yeah. that way uh, because big business and, and small business can can meet and create more yes and, I, and that's uh, what I see I believe that and I'm I'm so like I say you know Flint has a lot to look for and we'll continue to keep you know watching and, 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 and seeing the new developments here mm -hmm. in the city and then of course being a part of the progression right. and that's 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 a everybody in the community's role and so it's it's going to be Flint 2.0 here in the minute. Right. So, you know, exactly. I, I really, I'm really like, you know, thankful because the next generation is. We always talk about leaving it better than how we found it. So right. That we trying to set these these and structures that's what we're in going place now and leave these legacies behind, mm -hmm. and we can talk about it to our grandchildren or what have you to say like, right. hey, this is where Flint the transitions to Flint, it, but this is where we are now. It'll be written about. Come on, now. It's gonna I be can written see about. That. That's, that's, that I can see that. Uh huh. And that's that's some that's a that's a beautiful thing. So, you know, it's a lot to look forward to. So. Um, we still got more at the summit. We still That's got right. a couple more days left. Um, we're here at Southwestern. The, the, the sessions normally start at 8.30 in the morning. That's right. And, and they, I think they're going all day long. Yeah. And tomorrow are. as well. Yep, yep. And then Saturday is the last day. So make sure you, you definitely support the activity that's in Flint. Make sure you support our mayor and the efforts that she's putting forth for the residents and the constituent base. And so we just thank you for everything that you're doing and we fully support you. And we just want to make sure that anything that we can do to support it, we there. And I couldn't do it without help from people like you, Duan. Now, come on, because you've been working hard in this community, you know, you really. Know. Yes, and it does. It takes us all. It yeah, takes it us did. all to make it happen. That's what we're going to do. So we, we'll see you all. This is Flynn at his finest. That's right. And so we greatly appreciate it all. So we thank you. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Yeah, that was beautiful. Yeah. yeah. That was just I having a, a question. <laughs> Can I have a picture with you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, come on, I got you. I'll take you for you right now.